Today, we are going to give you the official Kumar family house tour. If you've already watched a bunch of other house tours on YouTube, you've probably already seen big houses, mansions, swimming pools, and all that. If that's what you're expecting, I suggest you click away right now because we don't have that kind of house. What we're gonna show you is the reality of a middle class living in the San Francisco Bay Area in America. Honestly, we have been trying to buy a new house for the past year and we put in 10 offers and we got zero accepted. Mm -hmm. So right now we are going just to make do with what we have and who knows, one day we might get a house, but for now we're thankful to have a roof over our heads. Yeah, we're really grateful for this house that we have here. So let's begin. We'll start off with the garage, right? So as you can see, this is our front yard over here. We need to mow this lawn. Our gardener flaked on us. He said he was gonna show up, he didn't come, so that's why we haven't mowed the lawn yet. So apologies for that. Welcome to our garage. So our house is pretty small. It's just over 1,100 square feet. So we have to make use of every single part of our house, like the garage. We don't park our cars here because we need the space. So we use this for storage of extra stuff. It's very messy. This is gonna be a theme throughout this tour is just, there's a lot of stuff in our house. We have six adults living, or six adults, four adults living and two children, six people total. They, everyone just has a lot of stuff. And we wish it was nice and all cleaned up and put away. There's just not room for it. So it is what it is. We make do with what we have. Yeah, so over here and over here, we try to store as much things as you can. I also have a bike for you guys who don't know yet. And here we have a very fancy home office. This is where Logish gets all of his work done. It's inside and away from all the noise and chaos. And up here, more storage. And as you guys can see, there's kind of this big open area here. And you might be wondering, what are these? These are some what we call stall mats. They are mats you can use for gym to work out on. Because as you might have noticed over here, we have lots of gym equipment. At the beginning of the pandemic, Logish worked really hard to make a home gym here. And we love it. We work out lots, uh, Logish about four to five times a week. I about three to four at most, but we've got stationary bike, lots of weights. Our barbells are over here. We do CrossFit, so that's really fun. Um, also, we have our washer and dryer here, which is great because then we don't have to have the space taken up inside the house. So this is the way to get to the house. So you go in, out, around. You guys ready to go inside the house? So this is our living room. This is where we spend pretty much most of our time. It is the only common area in the house, so we usually hang out here, spend time together. We have a beautiful TV that is rarely on. We spend so much time working on our YouTube channel, we don't have a lot of time to watch shows. But on the weekends, you will definitely see some Liverpool games playing. And so we used to have the coffee table over here, but Kyron likes to crawl around. So we moved it off to the side and Zayden likes to keep his car tracked down there. It all works out. Hi, little munchkin. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we have Zayden's, this is kind of the boys play area. Zayden has a fun little kitchen. He loves to pretend to cook food. Kyron has a little saucer he likes to jump in. We've got a little table for them to play arts and crafts and Play-Doh. And over here, we have all of our videography, photography equipment. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that are active. This is the ones that we use most of the time. So you can see we have the little tripod and stuff for, and all that and like the little microphones and all and my iPad where I used to work on stuff. So it's easily accessible. So guys, can you guys look up here for a second? These are all empty boxes. Logish insists on keeping every photography box, whatnot, and says that it adds value if you ever want to sell it again. Do you guys keep your boxes? Let me know. I want to know. Put it in the comments down below. Or does your spouse do that? It doesn't drive you crazy. Guys, tell her. When we want to sell it, the box helps it out when we want to sell it, so. I have never tried to buy a used item and thought, hey, I want to make sure it has its box. <laughs> Over here we have a beautiful fireplace and I mean, you guys, 
may or may not have seen this. You know, just a little, little plaque we're proud of. Ah, super proud. Thank you guys. It's all thanks to you. Uh, but down here, this is actually a functioning fireplace. We, it's winter time here in America, so it is cold. Uh, so we do burn a lot of fires in it. But we couldn't use it until several years ago when Lovish's parents came. His dad built us this frame. So it opens, it closes, and he built it from scratch. It's crazy. So yeah, now we can put fires in it. This used to be open. And can you see those, those bars here and here? So it used to be open, just kind of the ashes just flying all over the place. So my dad put this in and now the ashes like stays contained in there, which is great. All right, so kind of coming over this general area. This is our dining room table, but I've got a secret for you guys. Oh, this isn't just a dining room table. It is actually an office desk. When we had to move our office out of my parents' now bedroom, we didn't know what to do with this desk. We loved it so much. So we put it as our dining room table, but we can't actually use it without it being covered or else ruin it. Did you tell them about the plant? Oh, here is the curry plant. Guys, I have kept this alive for one year. That is a record. We grow our curry leaves. It's hard to find them here. Some Asian grocers sell them, some don't, but it is hard to keep them alive when it's winter time, which it is right now, because it's so cold, it kills it. So we keep it inside. I move it around to be in the sun. I should actually probably move it in the sun now. Um, it leaves dirt by clean up. And uh, yeah, I've kept it alive. That's the important part. And this is our kitchen. It's where all the magic happens. All the delicious meals that Lobish makes. I don't know why Lobish happens to need four bottles of protein out at all times. It's because I get bored of a certain flavor. So I have to go try a different flavor. So many. And then of course now the ice cream machine takes up a lot of room. Ice cream machine. It's worth it, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. And over here we've got some other microwave, toaster oven. And if you've never seen one of these before, they're amazing. You think so, Kai Kai? It is an air fryer. It's so cool. Lovish makes the best Brussels sprouts in it. Amazing. And our nice stove and oven, sink. You guys can tell we have a baby with lots of bottles out. And of course, our beautiful fridge. Zayden loves to play with his magnets, practice his shapes, and his letters, and his numbers. Fun little activity for him. Over here, we have our nice little coffee station with an espresso. I don't drink coffee, but Lobish does, so this is nice, quick, and easy for him to use. Yeah, this is super quick and easy. I'll, I have this at the very minimum, like one a day. You put in like little pods inside here, and you just Oh, the cups, tell them about the cups. So these, we got this in our favorite place in Malaysia. Yeah, this was from a Pasar Pagi in Taman Chileong, Klang, Malaysia. I got this, I bought this whole set. Oh, I love this so much. I use it every day. Yeah, we both use these cups every day. I use it for tea, he uses it for coffee, and it's just so great to have. This is a hot water dispenser. I love it because we always have hot water on hand at all times, never have to use a kettle. It's fantastic. Speaking of tea, I have tons of tea. Logish tells me I have too much. That's an obsession, look at that. I, I use them all though, and even here. This is one of my favorite teas from Malaysia, and I'm just totally, I thought only a few packets left, but I have to savor it because I don't know when we'll be back to get one. You can't find that here. And here is our kitchen pantry. This is what Logish uses to make all sorts of delicious food. A ridiculous amount of soy sauce, lots of spice packets, it's kind of a mess. It's on my to-do list to organize you guys, but it just hasn't happened yet. One thing I forgot to show you guys is we have a fun little closet here called a coat closet <laughs> where we keep our coats, very aptly named. Mm -hmm. And then extra shoes that we don't use and bags and things. And our ironing board, in case we have to iron something. You guys ready to see more of the house? Let's go. So this is the boys' room. It is Liverpool themed, so we've got our nice little Liverpool plaque on it. And this is probably the cleanest room in the whole house. We got the boys' beds, that's Kyron's bed, Zayden's bed. You might be wondering why does Zayden still sleep in a crib? He actually doesn't try to climb out at all, and it's nice to have him contained, and he sleeps really, really well in his crib. So we haven't given him a big boy bed yet. Eventually we will, but for now, 
He's happy in his crib, and so are we. I hand painted all this wall with the Liverpool song and the little symbol. Which is kind of funny, right? Because all this discoloration started to happen. It wasn't like that before, but I don't yeah, know why. I don't know why. And then behind you is the changing table. So this is where I changed Kyron when Zayden's awake and not sleeping in his bed. Um, diapers, wipes, changing pad, and then here I wrote, I made these, I wrote love in four different languages. If you guys know all four languages, leave it in the comments down below. See if you can get all of them. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I think Kyron's getting garam right now. He is. Okay. Here is our family bathroom. Yep. Pretty much, we do have two bathrooms we'll show you in a little second. But this is pretty much where everyone takes a shower. Yes. Like all six of us. Not at the same time. Not at the same time. <laughs> but here's the bathroom. It is so large. And then our nice little shower, the shower curtain. Got a tub, Zayden's toys. We all have our different shampoos and body washes and different things, so it's very Okay, you guys want to know what's all those little little guys over there? That's bath bombs that I bought for Zayden and inside each bath bomb there's like a little toy. Let me tell you, don't ever buy a bath bomb for your kid because when you buy one and when you use it, they want it over and over and over again. It's a habit I cannot keep up with because look at that. Not only here, but also here. There's like so many more. So this is my parents' room. We're gonna give them their privacy and just let them be in there. They have Zayden in there with them right now. So we'll leave them be. And this is our room. The master bedroom. And just right off the bat, you guys, I want to show you probably the most unique part of our whole house is the fact that we use a giant piece of cardboard to keep the sun out because the sun pours in here and wakes us up in the morning. This, oh, guys, this is the bane of my existence because it's so bright in the morning and that's why we have to use this cardboard to cover it to keep the sunlight. And this window is a oh. really weird size, so we haven't been able to find curtains that fit it. But yeah, so this is our room. Um, over there, you guys can see we have like an accent wall, which I love. It's one of my favorite colors. And Logish took all those photos. One is from Paris, the middle one is from Liverpool, and then the far right one is uh, the Big Ben in London. Okay, so here you guys are going to see a ginormous bathroom. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is our tiny, tiny little bathroom in our room toilet, sink, and then here's the shower, which is very small. We keep Kyron's little tub in here. That's pretty much the function of the shower because it's so tiny. Yeah, it doesn't hold anything. Let me let me try to show you how tiny it is. You want me to oh, come inside? Go ahead, go ahead. I was going to do it, but if you want to do it. Yep. Oh, can you go inside? I'm oh, inside. it's inside. <laughs> See, that's it. That's how tiny it is. Very small. And you like shampoo your hair and you like hit the wall the whole time. <laughs> so that's why we all shower in the the big bathroom. Also, Rachel, I don't know if you can see it, but there's notes over there. Rachel always leaves me like these little sweet notes every day. Kind of sweet of her, thank you. And that is the room. Oh, I forgot one part. This is my work desk. This is where I get my work done. And my tiny little work desk gets the job done. Yep, I sit here and I do all my meetings, do all my work. It's uh, very, very exciting, you guys. Logish has the garage, I have our room. Okay, let's go check out the backyard. That's the final part of our house. That is, the last part. And like Lobo was just saying, we were supposed to have a gardener come and he did not show up, so we need to get our lawn mode. Make our way outside. So here is the backyard. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. I wish you guys could feel the breeze. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of Zayden's toys. We just pulled this back out. The shell was a little crooked, so we had a chair weighted down. It's supposed to be a sandbox. Right now it is empty. We need to clean it out um, so they can play with it. And his little toy car. Also we have like little plants here that we're trying to keep alive, but they are dying. We're not gonna they're, lie. They're still alive. They're still alive. So we'll try to keep them alive, but they are kind of... Blackberry bush and passion fruit. Mm -hmm. And here Zayden loves this. This is a trampoline. Yeah, we got this for free actually from a friend. Yeah, uh, that's why you can see like there's holes and all, but... It doesn't matter here because inside it's like perfectly fine. So he goes in there, zips himself up, and he loves just jumping in there. It's, it's really sweet. He'll play in there for so long. But you guys, probably the best part about this backyard is this tree right here. And I'll show you why. 
Ooh, it's windy right now. Yes, yes, check this out. Do you know what fruit that is? Those are avocados. This... Avocados grow on this tree, it's crazy. Yep. You can so... see there's more up here too. So many, oh yeah, there's a bunch right there. They're yeah. not quite right ready to there. Pick. Yeah, so this is an, a huge avocado tree. And, and you might be wondering, yeah, why is like, that? It Last winter, it fell over. This was last February, I think. It fell over and it was almost all the way on the ground. And we talked to a bunch of arborists who work with trees. And they all told us like, oh, you're gonna have to chop the tree down. It's gonna die, can't save it. And then my dad was like, no. And he pulled it together and pulled it up. And it's been alive and it gives us avocados. So I'm glad we didn't cut it. And yeah, that is our backyard. Hey Zay Zay, hi, we hi. just finished the house tour with everyone. Do you want to say hi to our friends? Hi. Say hi. Hi. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We love you. We love you. Oh. All right, that's the end of the house tour, guys. As you can see, it's a really glamorous life that we live. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and as always, smash the subscribe button. We really hope to see you in the next one, all right? Bye. Bye. Say bye.